All right, welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Remake. In the last video, we left you off on a cliffhanger after we beat Saddler in the boss fight, and then Ada gave us keys and went their separate ways. <laughs> what a good line. What an homage of a line. Can't wait for the DLC. They better do DLC for separate ways. Like, even mission assignment. Was it assignment Ada? I think it's the other one. Um, you know, those would be great. DLC plans for the future. And I'd easily pay for it. Who cares if this Ada voice actress isn't, like, the greatest voice actress in the world? You know, for, like, her line deliveries and everything, they're a bit off. You know, she's not as bad as everybody's saying she is. She's still good. She's still passable. She has an authentic accent to what Ada should have. And all that stuff. So, you know... I can't complain. Anyway, we got two minutes, right? Well, I was about to say. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, yeah. yeah, let's reload. Oh, that's a green herb. And we'll do the last save. Why not? All right. I could go into storage here. I like how time's paused. Um, I will say, I regret not bringing my Magnum into that fight. Because. Yeah. A little unfortunate. But it is what it is. I'm glad they don't put, like, any treasure in here. We're not out of here yet. Yeah, I'm st Okay. Oh, that was slick. That was slick. Oh, God. Yeah, because they're dying. Insult to injury. Would you get out of my way, dude? Don't get blood on my shoes, please. And thank you. A lot of convulsiveness. Yeah, let's use those little cute keys. Oh, that's great. So, oh, yeah, I do get, have to accelerate. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh no, I remember dying here a couple of times in the OG. Whew. Go. Ow. Ow. Dodging debris like a champ, although sometimes you can't. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh jeez. Yep. Didn't predict that one in time. It's fine. Oh, make a hard left. Hard left. And then a right. Oh, jeez. I mean, I did ask if you wanted a throw ride. So, oh. Yeah, please. Please don't. Okay. Take him left. No, got to take a. Oh, that was a ramp. Oh, that. Whew. Nice. How much gas is in the tank? Man, that guy got eviscerated. We 
Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. <gasps> in a minute how cool would it be if like at the very end they did like the whole classic conversation like like it takes you out of the screen like face to face thing with Hunnigan interesting what this is definitely more fancy credits than uh, two and three I like it, the, the soft melody. It's like a homey vibe. You know? Pretty sure these are what? The pictures in the chief's house? Mendez's manor? That's... I think that's supposed to be... Like, if I'm correct, that, that's Louise and his granddad, right? The mines... A little powwow. It's getting darker. Definitely got darker. Saddler. Oh, because you know the game starts off in the daylight and then it turns to night with the castle and the cold. All right, so now it's getting darker because now we're getting into the cult section of the... This, that's definitely cool. Like this uh, end game credit scene. This is, <coughs> oh my God, phenomenal. It's like taking you through areas of the game. Because there's the courtyard, courtyard, churchyard, courtyard sample the amber that Ada escaped with fun fun oh The game still ends with a helicopter gliding off into the sunset. What the hell? <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. 
so... That was intriguing. That was interesting, you know? She confirms Wesker's plan. Obviously, he's gonna sacrifice billions of people so that he can become immortal. What the hell? There's another reason why the finale is in a separate episode of its own. If that was only like two minutes of gameplay. Because the song's gonna be copyrighted for sure, dude. And who knows if I'm just gonna be able to rip this song itself. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna try and talk as much as possible during this. Just in case, you know, that confuses, but it's not gonna get confused. It's gonna pick up the song because obviously there was a time I was mute. Because I was just so confused at the lyrics, man. Just confused that they started coming in, dude. But so far, yeah, overall the game was really good. I really enjoyed it. I regret not killing Verdugo. I regret not getting that treasure I missed with Ashley's keys. Completely missed that. Didn't even know that treasure was there. The other one, uh, the key I missed in the valley, that's another thing I missed and I hated myself for it. There was that blue medallion I missed and I still don't know where the hell that blue medallion is or that treasure in the clock tower. Just a couple things I missed that I either, you know, was stupid in missing it or I just could not at all find it at all hey felipe felipe hey that's my name <laughs> that's my that's my name in spanish uh there's a lot of voice cast that's for sure a ganado that's a lot of ganado i guess there's a lot of languages here um so ada is like the most contentious topic of this game by far, like it's not even it, it's not even close out of the contentions of this game. Because really, the only boss they cut that I can think of is U3, which kind of a shame, but also, uh, you know, a blessing in disguise. Because it's like I was not looking forward to doing that in remake four, because that fight was terrifying in the original and panic inducing. But I heard a rumor that they may be implementing it in separate ways, which... Okay, yeah, give Ada the most terrifying boss in this entire game. Sure. It's like, uh, also, the thing with U3 is, and not only is it one of the most terrifying bosses in the game, it's one of the most terrifying bosses that comes literally out of nowhere. No plot, no nothing, like, no explanation. He just exists, and you're like, oh, he's a Plaga creature. Just like Del Lago. Right, I guess most of them do, but he just seems like the most out of nowhere for how far late in the game he comes. And like Del Lago, so, Del Lago so early, El Gigante's early. You fight El Gigante several times throughout the game. Chainsaw people you fight several times. Um, obviously, Mendez, Salazar, uh, Verdugo, and... Sadler all implemented within like the grander scheme of the story uh, but yeah Ada definitely the most contentious and I will say this I enjoyed like her line deliveries and that last scene in the helicopter I like I liked her delivery there I enjoyed it I feel like she's a lot of it a lot of it's like it's hit or miss there's some scenes where she misses and there's some scene where she hits and that last scene of the helicopter is a hit um, I felt like the, the first scene you see her in, I believe, where obviously she doesn't speak in that scene, but I mean the first speaking scene where, you know, she helps Louise up after, you know, a minute of contemplation. Uh, I feel like that scene was kind of like mixed. Like I saw that scene and I was like, I don't understand the hate. I mean, I get it's not the, the greatest, like the line delivery the emotion and the weight and the conviction with how the lines are delivered in remake 2 are a lot better it's a better performance than in this game but there's obviously scenes in this game where the performance is good and then there's scenes where i feel like it's lacking and you know another scene where i thought it was good was uh, her and Leon in the speedboat when they're when you first go to the island? I thought that scene was well done. Um, she seems quieter than most. Like it sounds like she's delivering her lines like a foot away from the microphone, 
and everybody else is on it, like right next to it. So I always find that weird. And then there's some scenes where it's like, yeah, she's right there. You know, she's good. Um, I will say this, like for, for how much she misses, like line deliveries and sometimes it feels weird. Like the very end after the Sadler fight, when her and Leon are talking and she goes into the helicopter, there's a couple lines she delivered there that I didn't like. They didn't feel as impactful. They didn't feel as good or as well delivered or not necessarily well delivered, but I feel like it was the wrong delivery. Like she was told to deliver the lines in a certain way and it just didn't match up with the tone of the situation or Ada as a person. But it's like there's that scene. There's the first scene with Louise where, you know, Louise just acting the hell out of everything because he's so over the top. Like he's designed that way. Which the Ada's not. She's low key. She's subdued. She's calm. She's collected. She's confident. She's mysterious. Like she's supposed to be in control and in check. Uh, another scene I thought she did great uh, was when you get Ashley and Sadler shows, or when you find Ashley on the altar. And Sadler shows up and he's about ready to like pull the plugus out of Leon. And then Leon, uh, Ada shows up and just start blasting everywhere with machine guns. Thought that was great. That was great. Loved it. That was good delivery. It's like she's not in the game enough for her to take anything away from anyway. But it's like her performance isn't as bad as everybody was saying it was. Oh, it's Hunnigan. Oh. Good work. B. Okay. 22 hours. That's actually good. But yeah, this game's long. This game is so much longer than the other remakes, which makes sense because that's kind of like how long the original one is. They didn't cut playtime from this game. <laughs> they condensed some areas into like smaller playgrounds, which was nice. Um, sometimes more linear areas oh chapter results dark darkest before dawn do small time quit bugging me defeat five camouflaged okay <laughs> uh let's turn the motor higher oh i got a costume and a bunch of hats all right I killed 25 enemies 71.6 accuracy not too bad stayed above 60 or 70 no that's nice 15 times damaged yeah that's a lot uh, yep but yeah it nowhere near as bad as people were making her out to be um, I think with a little better direction and what how they want her to deliver the lines could be uh, changed a bit because that's really my biggest issue with some of her line deliveries is more of like the tone they have her use or the way like they wanted her to deliver the line just didn't match the situation or it's like her voice just seemed too low but then that game's great great remake Honestly, super fun. I might do Dead Space next. Now that this is wrapped up, start another remake. <laughs> I mean, it was the first PlayStation 5 game I bought, and I still haven't played it. And I never played the original one, so who knows? Uh, it'll be a first time for me, unlike this game where I played the OG and this one. Oh, that's the 70s. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Uh, that's Chapter 16. That's weird. It just shows the staff. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's the treasure one, too. I don't think that's his. But Sadler was a good boss fight. He wasn't too hard, but he wasn't too easy. And he sticks and moves a lot. Um, 
which is nice. I would still say Krauser's tougher because I had less healing. I'm pretty sure that fight would have been a little tough if I only had three healing items. Two. With Krauser, I think only had two. Uh, and Salazar. Super tough. Hated Salazar. All his little mind traps. Hated. But if I had to pick a favorite boss throughout the entire game, it'd probably be Krauser. And I don't even know why. It just would. I think his was. I don't know, it's the right amount of tough and panic. And the story surrounding the Krauser Leon confrontation was pretty great. Uh, I know Krauser appears in Mission ass Assignment Ada, which is like the more arcade one, where it's like right before you end the whole thing, because it's like level based, I'm pretty sure. That one is. Uh, you fight Krauser on like a little catwalk thing. And they make it like seem like it's canon, but obviously it's like Assignment Ada doesn't feel canon, but they do things that make it kind of feel canon, which is different from Separate Ways, which is totally canon. I don't know. It's very weird. But I don't know if I can... Like, obviously, the first village portion is still pretty great. Uh, Del Lago and El Gigante are fun. The cabin's even more terrifying in this game. Um, I didn't think the island was as bad. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, just cut the island completely. Just end the game after the castle, you know? I was like, well, well, no, you'd have to extend the castle portion to fit Saddler's boss fight in there somehow. It's like, no, just rework the island to where it's more horrifying, which they kind of did. Uh, the outside portion's not so much. Still combat heavy. A lot of battle heavy. As, you know, evident by chapter 1532. <laughs> enemies killed. So that was fun. Uh, yeah. So, you know, can't wait to go through this game. Uh, see what my overall accuracy was. See how many times I got hurt. See how many times I died, because... I know a couple of them aren't factoring in on this that I'll factor in. Then obviously how many enemies I killed in general. That'd be cool. Because that only tells me how many playthroughs, how many times I saved in my total time. So because I beat it in 22 hours with 91 saves. Because I'm a save freak. And it's on my first playthrough. I got a B. You know, I was thinking B minus, but B. B's good. To be fair, I don't know if they do the minus and plus. They, they probably do. But, you know, that's fun. That's fine. So that is it for Resident Evil 4 Remake until Separate Ways comes out and Mercenaries comes out in two days. Comes out today's April 5th as I'm recording this. Obviously, this video will come out, like, at the end of April. But uh, I might do some live streams of Mercenaries and fail miserably. Out of panic. Plus, I just think I'll get too bored. But yeah, you know, I hope you all have a great day. Remember, only you can be the best you you can possibly be. If you like the video, then maybe take residence down below to find all those buttons, because it'd be really helpful. And pet Momo while you're there. She's very friendly. If you don't overextend your petting, ta-ta for now.